Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Let me speak about a certain aspect of this. Many of us have enemies. The best way to get along with your enemies is for you to change. I know that you may say that, well, you want me to change, but you are not saying anything about that enemy to change. It is not about your enemy changing. It is about you taking the first step. Well, Kevin, I don't want to take the first step. If one person has pride and the other person has pride, how in the world are things going to be set straight? Think about that. Someone have to bow down. Someone has to submit. You have to be humble. I am not saying that you have to do sinful things for this person. I am not saying that. I am saying you have to submit. If I am having trouble with a person, I have to submit. I can't go low as much as my enemy. I can't go into the dirt <clears throat> as my enemy is. I can't do that. If I want my enemy to change, I have to change. I have to become much more humble. I have to accept whatever treatment that person is dishing out. This one person This person was treating me This person have done some good things for me but this person was treating me with contempt or with anger and I did not know what was going on and at first you know I was trying to explain things to him raising my voice and stuff like that which I should not have done and I repented of that I learned that that is not going to work for that person. This person is not going to hear you out. So I said to myself, let me shut up. Let me stay humble. Let me just take what he is willing to place upon me. And it was hard. It was really, really hard. I had to, like, while being around that person, I had to pray in my mind the whole time. I had to, because I knew that demons, Satan, whatever, wanted me to argue and fuss with that person. So I kept my peace. 
And later on, this person injured himself. So this person started to act right for a while. Then once that person healed somewhat, this person started to do evil to me again. Do you ever learn? So this person, one day, I did not hear from this person for about a month. And this person called me, asking me to go to the store and buy him something. And I came to his home and he was so sick, like really, really, really sick. And my first instinct was to say, that is what you get, you dirty sinner. <laughs> that was my first instinct, but when I thought that I should be happy about his misfortune, something in me, no, don't feel good about the bad things that are happening to this person. What you need to do is have compassion and more empathy for this person. Pray for that person. And that is what I did. A month or two later, this person called me and told me exactly why he was treating me so badly. And the next five or ten times kept on telling me sorry. I am not saying I am Mr. Perfect. I am not saying that I do everything right. I am not saying that I have been good all my life because that is not true. What I am saying, if you want someone to change, you have to change. You have to take pain, my Lord, I know that people don't like to hear this. I know that people believe that they should not have to take pain. You are going to suffer on this earth, especially if you live for God. If you want to bring more people to God, it is not always about what you say. It is about how you live. You have to demonstrate to people by the way that you live, hey, as a Christian, this is how you live. Anyone can teach about God. So many sinners, <laughs> like constant, everyday, I sin type stuff, people can teach about God. But is their life demonstrating the fruits of the Spirit, the fruits, the attributes of the Holy Spirit? No. So your largest ministry is the way that you live because people are going to watch you. Myself, I believe that I am not an interesting person. Yet, I am watched. I don't know why. <laughs> I am a boring person. Why are you watching me? They are watching me because they see Jesus Christ within me. So that is going to draw the attention of people. So you have to change. You have to bow down. You have to submit yourself. I am not saying that you have to do sinful things to people, but you have to be willing to serve when the time is ready. No, you have to be willing to serve when people ask, even if you don't want to, myself. Sometimes, or many of the time, I don't want to do things for people, but I do it 
because this is what we are made for. We are not made to be separated. We were not made to do our own thing per se. We were made to come together as one and help each other and love each other and be with each other. If my words are not going to reach you, I am going to show you love. I am going to be there for you. Even if I have to take pain, if you are not willing to take pain from a person, something is wrong with you. If you are not willing to take pain from a person, something is wrong with you. You need to humble yourself. You need to bow down to people. Yes. I am telling you things that many so-called Christians don't do. If you want a strong relationship with God, I am not saying that I know everything, but if you want a stronger relationship with God, you are going to do as I advise. I was not this way always. I had to learn this. I had to research so much every day. Take advantage of all of these hours of research that I do. It would really make sense. So let me stop here. God bless you.